I've been collecting WWE action figures for 13 years, and this is my collection room tour. What is going on guys? Brett Alive back with another video. The year is 2024 and that means a fully updated WWE action figure room tour. In this case, basement tour. Yes, my WWE action figure room is located in a basement and it's absolutely jam-packed. We're going to be going through every single bin, shelf, arena, everything in this video. Sit back, relax, go get your popcorn, and let's jump into the Bretto Live 2024 WWE Action Figure Room Tour. Over here, like I said, we are going through absolutely everything. Here's the light switch. The light switch that controls those three LED lights above the entire stadium. We do have some Lego boxes over here. As you guys know, I do still collect Legos. That's how the Brutal Live channel actually started, was with Legos. So I do have some of the UCS boxes over here. I like to keep the boxes. Some of the Lego sets are actually still in these boxes, which is pretty crazy. But I keep them in this corner. I don't know. They're just safe over here. You always need music in your WWE action figure freaking room so I got the party boom down there going crazy it's connected to my phone right now I'm just not playing music because I'm trying to get copyrighted here's a look at the backstage area you can see the uh, Reckon uh, semi truck over here that was Target exclusive. Yes, all this is on a white car table, and I just put a black party mat on it, so you don't see the white car table. You could just see like a black floor mat, which is pretty cool. All this consists of the performance center and the original backstage brawl. You can see some cool, some personalized accessories in there, like a little Pepsi machine. You see the Do Not Enter sign, comes some cool scaffolding. You got a bench press right there with some insane weight on it, some ropes. A uh, punching bag over there, some custom garbage cans that I got from a freaking, I don't even know where I got those. A cool little uh, wall piece here. You got the Wreck and Forklift, which is Target exclusive. I did put a pallet on there to make it look a little more realistic. The original pallet that came with that was absolute crap. It was way too tiny, so I put the OG one on from the Curtis Axel and Triple H 2-pack, and it looks awesome. And you can't forget it, the creation of Kevin. Drink it in, man. You already know I had to add that to my backstage area absolutely awesome festival of friendship accessory right there we have a little table right here of course the superstars will go here before they go out to the ring uh and they will like get their rundown of their match or their promo here's the little gorilla position right there what's behind it absolutely nothing just some cardboard uh but you do have the little ramp going up to it i i, mean, I don't know i'm probably not going to put anything behind there because i mean it leads right up to the arena you just use your imagination i guess have a little medical area over here onto the giant memorial battle royal got the slammy award play set which was originally available at Toys R Us which is pretty outrageous and then we have a pretty casual office over here with a plant a sculpture also from the Festival of uh, Friendship accessory pack and we also do have a lamp in the corner a couch and a cool spray painted WWE logo I got that out of the I think it was the best of attitude era Amazon exclusive Triple H I could be wrong but I thought it was really cool so I kept it uh, but yeah that's a look at the backstage area nothing too crazy has changed back there but I just always thought it looked really fresh uh, I like this backstage area a lot and I might update it a little bit in the future but yeah I think it looks pretty cool down here next to one of the WWE stackable bins you can see I do have my slambulins down here I only take it out when I need it it's not dusty I use it pretty frequently uh, for like photos and different setups and junk but he just chills there because he's kind of big to sit up on the table he'd be taking up a bunch of room so I got my ambulance down there here's a look at the first bin and honestly there's not much going on in these anymore I don't really put figures in these anymore because I swear when I'd like open them and close them the figures would be slapped sliding around and I don't know it just it it wasn't good for the figures I just use flat bins now which I think are the absolute best for wrestling figures you can see in here tables ladders and chairs that's literally all we have in here we have ringside collectibles exclusive chairs in here obviously discount code live says 10 percent we have some tables in the corner here and then we have some ladders as well look we even have the Stardust ladder in there, which is insane. Next drawer. Oh, look at that. Nothing's in this one. This is 100% empty right there. Let's see about the other three. This one, it appears there's just some announce tables in there. There's extra announce table parts that I didn't know where to put, so I've got them in there. And then we have some Reckon vehicles down there. We got both Camaros, we got both motorcycles, and we have the uh, 
little four-wheeler right here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, those are just some old wrecking vehicles that are pretty awesome, but my favorite one's definitely the ambulance, no doubt about that. On top of that bin, you could see the main WWE Elite bin. This side's Monday Night Raw. This side is SmackDown. You could just get an up-close look at the superstars and tell that it's actually sorted. All these superstars are actually SmackDown. Look, I even have the Final Testament in there. The brand new Final Testament tag team. My new Austin Theory with a custom head scan. Grayson Waller from Elite 107. You got a Jimmy Uso in there. Even MVPs on this side. Braun Strowman. Here's the Raw side of things. Looking pretty cool with this insane Damian Priest. I really want an updated briefcase. Send your money in the bank. It'll be sick. Jinder. Drew. Our truth who's been making a big impact on Raw lately. Gunther, Cody Rhodes, DIY. I recently a just added these to this bin because they started wearing similar attires to that. So I double added that. We have an extra set of undisputed tag titles right there for whatever reason. At the bottom of this bin, you can see how I have this like nice foam material. It just helps with the figures not sliding around. Look at that. They don't slide around one bit. Hopping around the corner here, you can see this nice little stackable accessory bin. On the top, there's some cool grooves, so you're able to put some accessories in here. I got some Rock Ultimate Edition accessories here. Some like uh, Bloodline interchangeable hands here. The Roddy Piper, George the Animal Steel accessories. Magical pieces for shorts on the YouTube channel. I always get questions on where I get these they come out of wwe elite figure packs uh, they come with kalistos ray mysterios like they come with high flyers just search up some old wwe elite figures mainly ray mysterios and they'll come with them trust me you have some more bloodline accessories up front here muhammad ali logan paul jumping into the bins themselves you can see some accessories in here got some mainly microphones in here some bigger accessories to the side freaking alligators a american flag which looks freaking fantastic oh my god what is this oh a bag of chips? A bag of chips for Hook. How crazy is that? And here's all headgear. All like different masks and different hats and different things like that. Even I do, I even do even have headsets in here too, which is pretty cool. Just a bunch of different headgear in there, which is pretty awesome. I try to keep my accessories organized and I'm like, hey, I need this accessory. Boom, I know where to find it. These are mainly stick accessories, like weapons that could be held in someone's hand. Basically just a bunch of stick accessories. Like got some freaking crutch in there. You even have a breakaway surfboard in there, Persian clubs, kendo sticks, barbed wire bats. This one just has more random accessories in it. These I don't, I don't really know. This one doesn't really have a specific like organization to it. It's just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, favorite one, easily the list of Jericho. Y'all just made the list. Literally each and every one of you. Uh, this one's empty. I don't have anything in that bin. And then the bottom one just has AEW uh, interchangeable heads. AEW unrivaled and unmatched interchangeable heads. No particular the reason why I don't really use them that much so I kind of just leave them down here and then the bin right next to that is a little bigger as you can tell you can see on the top we got the tripod we got the knife for opening WWE figures got a uh, camera little lens cover you have a tripod piece next toy con you got a charger got the duster of course for the figures which is great got a battery charger ring bell with little rubber bands on the top of it great for setting up figures top bin first yes this bin is full of clothing on this side you can see a bunch of different t-shirts cutoffs and just regular sleeved t-shirts on this side and then this side has jackets leather jackets leather coats over here which look absolutely awesome I, like like i said i always try to keep everything organized so that i'm always able to find everything right here bunch Bunch of robes, robes, capes, unique accessories I keep over here. Like unique cloth accessories. Obviously, these are all cloth. Like this one's unique. That Becky Lynch one, pants, a bag for a snake, flags, more pants, capes, more unique accessories over here. And then, like I said, mainly robes over here. You can see Ric Flair. I believe this is Brian Danielson. Yeah, of course. Looking very cool. The American Dragon. Then moving down, we have more accessories. These being more like clothing type pieces. Is, but these are the rubber goods. These are all rubber cutoffs here, which look pretty cool. You even have a set of Shawn Michaels rubber pants. But yeah, just a bunch of rubber goods in there. Next one down, more rubber goods. These ones, I believe I tried to do like more sleeves, like in this bin. Yeah, this is what I went for. Yeah, we did more sleeves, rubber goods in this bin. There's a bunch of different ones in there that I don't really use often. Speaking of not use often, all these robes. 
Like, when they're rubber robes, I mean, you could barely move the figure, so I kind of just leave them off. But, yeah, they chill down here. I'll never get rid of them as long as I have the certain figure. There's a Sin Cara one, Tenzai, Alistair Black. But, yeah, these are all rubber robes. This spin's pretty cool. Basically, all my clothing's in there. Moving to the arena itself. Wow, it is weird filming the arena without any figures in the ring. Normally, when I film this, it's for the Week in Review or just a random video. But, yeah, this, it's weird having no figures in here. But, yeah, here's the arena. I do use three different lights one boom light up top and then two on the side here which look absolutely fantastic got them from amazon not sponsored whatsoever but they're just great lights there's no doubt about that we are using the mattel creations main event ring the raw is war ring the cane ring if you will i do have an extra set of steel stairs on the side from ringside collectibles we do have a black mat just like my backstage area we have the black mat which i just think cleans it up dude i love the black mat because if it wasn't here let me know what you let me tell you what you'd be seeing you'd be seeing wood grain no we don't want to see that we want to see a black mat on the ringside area here we have a stretcher we have two road crew cases a couple elbow pads up top for whatever reason we do have the ringside collectibles exclusive barricades which in my opinion are the best barricades around i was able to customize them in order to get a timekeeper's area over here got a couple barrels i got questions on these barrels too these came with the slammy award playset the Slammy Award playset that was, I think it was exclusive to Toys R Us uh, a long time ago. But yeah, that's where I got those. Got a ring bell. Got a referee, formerly known as Jake Atlas. Got a Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark. Uh, of course, being my ring announcer, two steel chairs. The crowd is full of basics. Uh, full of all of my basics. Literally, every single one of my basics in my collection, uh, besides like LA Knight, I think, is in this crowd. There are some elites in there, too. Like, I believe, yeah, I have some elite Braun Strowman's in the back. I have some custom crowd signs in like a WWE Shop one. Uh, some cool stickers that people have sent me. The backdrop obviously from extremesets.com they nail it every single time not sponsored whatsoever again i just love their backdrops obviously i just added kind of some of the custom signs i gotta update that wrestlemania sign i'm not gonna lie but i just love that logo that logo is freaking sick the mania 38 logo i'm probably gonna update it to the 39 logo before i do the 41 because that looks just freaking dope uh, but yeah i do have two of those backdrops that span the entire thing we have the new gen entrance stage right there which looks amazing i kind of just tucked it in the corner there i haven't set up its own arena for it yet and then we do have the og raw entrance stage which looks dope with john cena on it there's a bucket of tax at the front there and then of course the entrance stage as i've shown before I have a little interview area on the side here that's not really set up too well but if i need to you know set up a little thing for interviews i'll take that out of there and normally put it over here for a little up close look but that's basically the arena i think it's pretty cool i like it i feel like it's lacking when it comes to an entrance stage like that wcw monday nitro entrance stage man i wish that got crowdfunded because that's what would be chilling right here literally that's what would be right there and it would look so sick but i am not going to lose hope i know mattel creations is going to give us a insane entrance stage whether it's current or is it if it's vintage I don't care as long as I get an updated entrance stage, bro, to fill this. I want it fully just massive right there. Oh my gosh, Mattel. Mattel, please. <laughs> Moving to the table right next to my main arena. Man, I know this looks really lame over here. I wish there was another arena right here. I want to set up another arena. I just don't know what arena to do. Should I do like a classic one? Should I do more of a current one? Uh, let me know down in the comments down below, but I want to set up another arena over here on this table because this table is huge, dude. Look at all the stuff I have on it. I have an NWO authentic scale ring with a steel cage on it. These are all my belts. Check it out, dude. These are somewhat organized. Here's some more like current styles of belts. Well, I guess I, I guess I lied. There's the Big Eagle title. I, well, I think these are extras. Yeah, those are actually extras. Here are like classic styles of belts. Here is the more current style of belts in here, which are pretty dope, even though, you know, obviously we have the spinner in there, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like these are more current. These are more classic. These are duplicates in here. And then these I think are more classics. Uh, once again, I kind of lost track on how I 
I was organizing these. But uh, it still looks really cool. I mean, we have like basically every belt ever made uh, in here, which is dope. Love it a lot. Those are the four bins of wrestling belts. I've filmed a couple of shorts on those. Uh, so check out the channel if you guys want to see a little closer up on those. Right next to the belts, we have another bin. We'll start at the bottom this time. Oh, we got interchangeable heads. Interchangeable arms, bro. And these are basically all for Mattel figures. I showed the AEW head interchangeable bin. This is the WWE one. You can see it. Mainly Ultimate Edition heads are in here. You can even see some Ultimate Edition arms. Appears to be for a Bret Hart. You can tell by the pink wrist tape. But yeah, those are all a bunch of interchangeable heads and arms. These are more accessories. I tried to keep all my Money in the Bank contracts over here. Scarfs back there. Different like big entrance pieces like that Terminator thing. More briefcases, awards. Up here, basically all the instruments. We have all the guitars. Uh, this is actually a, yeah, this is a Tech Deck surfboard. This is a real Tech Deck surfboard. Or not surfboard, skateboard. Uh, which looks sick. Got the trampoline. Just more big, just awkward accessories I have in there. And then sitting right on top of that bin, this is where the accessories get really small. These are where all my small accessories go. People always ask me, how do you not lose the glasses or the little extra pieces of hair or like little water bottles? Boom! Just like this. I got this little plastic pull-out case here and all my little accessories are in there. I do have these organized somewhat too. Glasses right there. There. I showed this one already, but yeah, this was just a bunch of random little ones. And then top here, we got necklaces. And this one is kind of lacking a little bit, only because I have the display. So a lot of the figures on the display have a lot of necklaces on. On top of the bin, we have some interchangeable hands uh, that I'm probably using on my display currently. And there's some Star Wars characters up there for whatever reason. Moving to the right, we do have my interchangeable hand bin right here which looks fantastic i do have this organized as well we do have fisted hands in this one we do have open hands over here we got choke slam hands in there we got aw hands in these two we got women hands right there we got microphone holding hands there we have specific hands for certain characters in there and then we have pointing interchangeable hands mainly in that one all organized, looking fantastic. Another authentic scale ring. This is the WrestleMania 2 blue steel cage ring, which looks dope. And you can see Stone Cold Steve Austin's monster truck in there. We have my old uh, Raw entrance stage with John Cena right there, looking fantastic. And the background, if you guys are wondering, more just party mats, just to add some black cover back there. Otherwise, you guys would be seeing some plumbing and some uh, just concrete. And I'm like, you know what? Let's get a black backdrop down there. I think it looks sick. Just a couple posters here on the wall that I took into my closet. We have the WWE Legends poster, and we have a Roman Reigns poster, the big dog. Right in front of that table, we do have some WWE pay-per-view chairs here. We have a VIP experience chair with some legend figures up top. Legend Series 21. I'm just waiting on finding Iron Sheik, and then I'm going to film the entire review on that. You can see Jimmy Hart, Hulk Hogan, and Andre the Giant. Once again, just waiting on Iron Sheik. Here we have the Payback 2014 chair. Triple H, and then we also do have the Clash of Champions uh, 2016 chair, which looks fantastic. I do have a Money in the Bank and War Games chair as well, but those are in my room currently, uh, like my actual room. And then behind that, we have the WWE 2K, I believe it's 18, it's kind of covered up there. Uh, yeah, it's, it should be 18. Uh, poster that I got from GameStop with Seth Rollins. This thing's absolutely massive, so I just put it right there. It's sort of like a backdrop. And jumping into probably what you all have been waiting for the display. This is in the background of a lot of my videos that I film on the channel uh, and we're gonna go up close in depth on it right now dummy yeah we're gonna start over here and we're gonna work our way all the way over there CM Punk you already know the best in the world had to take his rightful spot at the top of this shelf every single CM Punk elite ever made Basically, every single AEW CM Punk ever made. I'm just waiting on the, the last AEW Punk, that being the ROH Punk. We even got the Chase one back there. We got a couple basics in the box. We have two straight edge punks, one in the box, one out of the box. We got a little CM Punk poster up there. Walmart exclusive punk there. More uh, Mattel and AEW punks looking fantastic. Look, even MJF made his way on the shelf. I had to include him with this punk. Both from our blood and guts. We have CM Punk here with the uh, Paul Heyman, of course, Paul Heyman guy. Uh, got a uh, classic punk there. Look, 
look, even Luke Gallows made it over here. Straight Edge Society. SES, you already know. And look at this. Little ice cream bar right at the front. CM Punk poster. Got a custom Bread Alive Championship courtesy of a wrestling figure mania. Shout out to him. This entire shelf is basically just capturing my favorite figures to collect. Basically. So we got CM Punk at the top. We got Seth Rollins, which is another one. Every elite Seth Rollins figure ever made. There are a lot of basics scattered in there as well. You can see Seth up front with a custom head skin. You can see the Ultimate Edition Seth right up front, obviously, with the hands to the side. Oh, oh, oh. you guys know the whole ordeal there. Hell in a Cell, Cody Rhodes, Seth, uh, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins right there with the cowbell attached to the hand. I had to put Cody Rhodes on that shelf as well. If it was just Seth Rollins, it wouldn't seem right. More elites in the background there. We got some classic Shield ones. Getting current, staying classic with the NXT. Never shuts up, Seth. We got a visionary Seth, a messiah Seth. We got the uh, architect Seth at the top, winning money in the bank. We got a returning Seth, WrestleMania Beast Slayer Seth, Mysterio Seth, Monday Night Rollins Seth, uh, more money in the bank Seth, current Seth. And then in the background, I also do have uh, some San Diego Comic Con exclusives Shockwave, uh, or not Shockwave, uh, Shockmaster, and Isaac Yankum which look pretty freaking cool. Moving right below Seth Rollins, we do have Finn freaking Balor. Here is his shelf, looking awesome. Newest figure being the Judgment Day Finn Balor, which looks amazing. We got all the demons. They still need to do a WrestleMania 39 demon. I'm still waiting on it, my goodness. We have every Finn Balor Elite ever made. We got the Ultimate Edition right up front, looking so sick. We got some non-painted Finn Balors over here, looking cool. Got the big raw letters in the background. I didn't really know where to put those, so I'm like, you know what? I'll just put them behind Finn Balor. Got a Ringside Collectibles pamphlet from, is that 2018? Crazy. Uh, there's another Demon Finn Balor, I believe, from Extreme Rules. Here's uh, SummerSlam Balor. You got some super glue over there just in case figures break. Moving below Finn Balor, we got the AJ Styles shelf. I got all the basics in the background. We got all the elites up front. Every elite AJ Styles ever made. Newest elite being this one right up front in the all red, which looks freaking sick the ultimate edition is not on this shelf only because i do have them elsewhere on my ultimate edition shelf so i will show that in a bit we have the first elite aj styles covered up in a ringside collectibles uh case right there which looks freaking amazing that's the elite 47 in box and on a box which looks pretty cool and then on the bottom shelf we have randy orton this is my newest addition to this shelf in particular we do have a randy orton shelf looking amazing uh not every randy orton elite ever made boy do i wish it was but uh, this is a pretty cool show. We got some classic ones up front, some more uh, current ones in the background. And then we have an old WWE coloring book in the background. I thought it was some cool art on that. So you got Punk, Sin Cara, Rock, and Cena. It's just a cool backdrop. I like backdrops in the background of my figures. Like, look, they all have backdrops, whatever, whether it's a figure in the box or just a random display thing. It just looks so clean. Before we jump to the shelf, next to my favorite figure's shelf, I want to take a look up by this steel beam. We got some kid WWE championships up there, including the Bread Alive Championship, which I am still the Bread Alive Champion. I've not lost the belt. I've been holding that title about, I believe, longer than the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. I could be wrong on that, actually. I, I think I am, though. We got the United States Championship, Universal Championship, we got a classic spinner belt, and you have the NXT Championship, which is amazing. I love that design, by the way. That NXT Championship design is so cool. I'm right, moving into the shelf. Here we go. Here we go. Background, you already know. We got some old WWE uh, Ringside Collectibles pamphlets. We got a cool Legends poster. We got an Elite 100 pamphlet by Jonathan Bartlett. We have a signed Dolph Ziggler with some figures on top of it. We got the former Raw Tag Team Champions. We got El Torito and Hornswoggle. We have some of my favorite figures up top here. Front and center, you already know. We got It's Just Me, Oos. Day one, it's just me, Oos, and he's doing the pose. Look, I got the interchangeable hands, and he's doing his, like, his, his, his move, his thing, during his entrance, which looks sick. I tried to have all these superstars hold championships. I kind of failed. As you can see, Cody's not doesn't have one. But as you can see, most of these guys do. This side, more lacking. Hulk doesn't have a title. Uh, Kofi doesn't have one. Matt doesn't have one. But I want to have all of these superstars hold championships. I think it would look really cool. We have some more figures in the background there just some of my favorites on the top shelf here's the john cena shelf nothing's changed with this one so i'm not gonna spend too much time on it but if you're new to the channel this is every elite john cena 
ever made. You have a WrestleMania 27 logo right there, which looks dope. Uh, we have the Elite 100 right up front. Chain Gang is showing off the chain. We have uh, this insane Rise Above Hate Cena, which I have two of those. Let's find the other one. Oh, boom! There's some custom shirts in here as well. If you look closely, you'll be able to point them out. It looks amazing, dude. Couple Ultimate Editions in the background. Give us some up to... We're, we're lacking on some Cena Elites right now. Like Mattel, they gotta pump out some new Cenas, seriously. But this shelf looks amazing. Got this Elite thing from Walmart. They were gonna throw it away. I'm like, that's not happening. So I took it. On top of the Undertaker box, you have Matt and Jeff Hardy looking amazing. One of my favorite tag teams ever. You have a 20 and 0 Undertaker in the box. I couldn't take that out of the box. That box was just way too freaking clean. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just put him on a Kane and Undertaker shelf. I don't believe this is every Kane of all time. I do believe I'm missing some Kanes, but there are some cool Kane figures on there. Look, there's a little John Morrison as well. I got Paul Bearer in the front there the new elite which is an amazing figure we got the undertaker side of things the brothers of destruction man they needed their own shelf so we have uh, basically every undertaker ever made on this shelf well, i am missing a couple uh but they do look fantastic ultimate editions up front obviously down below that we do have the tribal chief shelf half of its tribal chief half of its Shawn michaels right at the back there you got the undisputed universal champion early tribal chief right there the universal champion is still throwing up the one though you already know we got classic shield we have a bunch more tribal chiefs up front we got some big dogs in the background we got a mutant and there are some AEW figures in the background not sure why i did that but it's one AEW figure from every single series up to series five and here's the Shawn michaels side of things every Shawn elite ever made Almost positive on that to every Sean. Uh, we have the greatest hits back there. Or not greatest hits, entrance greats, bro. Got a couple ultimates in there. Looking fantastic. Got the WrestleMania 25 and 26 right up front. Uh, and look at that, 28 too, when he was the special guest referee. Custom shirts in there as well. On the bottom shelf, there are only a couple loose figures. I kind of went with a little Hulk Hogan trend. A bunch of different uh, Hulk Hogans in the front. And then we do have some classic legend elite figures, which look dope as crap. Two rarest ones on on this shelf being King Kong Bundy and Hillbilly Jim. Right below that, we do have the Four Horsemen uh, two-pack. Well, not two-pack, four-pack, I should say, which is in the box. I never opened it. It looks awesome. I like it a lot. And we do have another Supreme CM Punk because that's my favorite AEW figure of all time. So you already know we had to cop a second one. And this I thought was going to be his last AEW figure, but then they announced the Ring of Honor one that's going to be coming in the newest Unmatched series, which I'm excited for. But yeah, this shelf is really cool. I like it a freaking lot. I want to update the Cena shelf with some new figures. Hopefully they announce some new Cena's. Box shelves. It does not end. Look at this, man. Top. We do have a bunch of mock figures. That's that's a custom Elite Series 91 Chase Rob Van Dam. We have the ringside exclusive Macho Man, old Chris Benoit. A couple rumbles up there. We got some Ultimate Editions. Uh, duplicates. This one's not, though. We got the Macho Man, uh, Hulk Hogan, Mr. T. Got the Undertaker SDCC exclusive. This is my Ultimate Edition shelf. Uh, oh, man. This is in contention with one of my favorite shelves here, dude. Oh, all the Ultimate Editions ever released, ever released are on this shelf. Well, I kind of lied. I do have some Ultimate Edition. Seen as this there the ultimate seth's over there but you guys know what i mean basically every ultimate edition ever is on this shelf oh newest ones being asuka and roman reigns which is down there but yes asuka being the newest one on this shelf and ultimate warrior look at that oh my gosh you got orton razor ramon some higher ones over here eddie guerrero rob van dam bobby lashley in the background roddy piper there's the aj styles that i mentioned earlier throwing up the p1 i love the articulation how you're able to put the gloves together on that AJ. Got the Beast Brock Lesnar. Like, this shelf is just so cool. Mattel, keep the Ultimate Editions coming. That is my favorite figure line in general. Figure line. Ultimate Editions. Those are my favorite figures. Favorite figures of all time. We got a DX shelf. You already know. I updated this recently, bro. Got all the DX figures over here. Even the newest style of DX. Shawn Michaels and Triple H. That's the basic Shawn. The Elite Triple. Those look sick. We got the Road Dog Jesse James and the Badass Billy Gunn right up front. We got some OG DX. Some more current DX. We got Invading WCW DX, which looks freaking wicked. And we 
have uh, more DX over here, more current DX with the glow sticks. Here's a Bloodline shelf, brand new shelf I put together recently. You could see all the members of the Bloodline when, when it was at its peak, in my opinion, when it was at its peak, it had Sami Zayn, all right? So I added Sami Zayn. We got the Wise Man, uh, Solo Sokoa is in there. Uh, these, ugh, this looks so cool. And then we do have the rest of the Bloodline. In the background, we got Afa, Sika, we got the Wild Samoans, Yokozuna, Rikishi, some OG Usos, uh, Nia Jax I even put in there. Like, bro, tell me that's not sick. Here's our NWO shelf, newest figure being added from the Hogan 3-pack. We got the Target exclusive Hulk Hogan. We got some Wolf Pack back there on a steel stairs. We got some first ever Scott Hall and Kevin Nash looking dope. Uh, Ultimate Edition Macho Man, Ringside Exclusive Macho Man. Down here in the bottom left, we do have a random shelf of just random figures that I like a lot. Uh, Morrison Elite Four, Ringside Exclusive Bret Hart, uh, Fan Takeover Christian. This Dolph Ziggler I thought was really funny with the tongue. Uh, we got the Hart Dynasty over there, Bludgeon Brothers. I love those figures. Those figures do not get enough recognition Ignition. Those are great figures. Uh, we have some OG tag teams on this shelf. We got Demolition. We got uh, the Road Warriors, LOD. We got uh, the Rockers. Here is the uh, Bushwhackers. More Road Warriors, LOD. And then just some random figures. Uh, here's another shelf here. Ric Flair, John Morrison. Some mock figures in the background. Another AJ Styles mock figure. Uh, from I think that's Elite 51 or it might be 50. No, it's 51. Yeah, it's Elite 51 AJ Styles. Looking cool. Got my tallest figure ever, Giant Gonzalez. Uh, big show, Andre the Giant. Uh, moving down, we have a rock shelf. Here is The Rock. Uh, almost every version of The Rock is on this shelf. Looking cool. More newer ones in the background. More classics up front. Random Legends shelf here with some cool legends. We got some figures in the background, including a Kofi Kingston. And here is my new Rey Mysterio shelf. Tell me that does not look freaking wicked with all their hands to the side like that in the center. I do have a Brody Lee tribute figure in the background. Uh, here's some more masked Rey Mysterios over here. Well, hey, what am I saying? They're all masked. Well, double masked, if you will, with that entrance mask. But, oh, I love the hands to the side. That looks so cool. Then we have some more Rays in the front. My favorite one being the Flash Rey Mysterio. We even got a little Dominic in there being comforted by the SummerSlam Rey Mysterio. On the bottom shelf, I didn't put any loose figures. I don't like really putting loose figures on the bottom shelf. I find that really annoying. So I just put uh, mock figures down there. We got a uh, Family Fury 2-pack. We got the Hardy Boys WrestleMania 33. Uh, Hardy Boys Return Epic Moments 2-pack, which is so cool. Uh, Bree and Nikki Bella. We got a uh, Breakaway Ring. We got some cool just random stuff right there. Cool papers. Got a Batista little picture. Some inbox figures there. Steel Cage with a ring. We got the NWO Hogan 3-pack box that I did not throw away because it's cool. And we have a uh, Bella Twins 2-pack once again. But yeah, that's the box shelf. I love this shelf to death. I get questions on the hand, too. I got it from a fan. Psycho Figs, to be exact. He gave it to me at ToyCon, and I was thrilled to add it to my collection. It's really cool. You just sit in it, basically, and it's blue, and it's plastic. It's freaking awesome, dude. Thanks, Psycho Figs. Right next to the box shelf, we have a tinier shelf, and I did film a video on this recently, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but we do have the Wyatt family up top. We have the Usos right here. I did remove the OG Usos from the background to add them to my bloodline shelf so i still need to add some other usos in the background there so i apologize that there's nothing there we do have some og tag teams edge and christian dudley boys and hardy boys uh when they back to back i think it was wrestlemania 17 and 18 when they had ladder matches triple threat uh tag team championship ladder matches so i wanted to and capture that on this shelf, you can see the ladders in the background. I just thought that was sick. We got uh, Undisputed Era, Gold Baby Gold. They got all the gold, uh, which looks so dope. I'm going to move this figure for a second. We got Enzo and Cass, and then nobody on the bottom shelf because I didn't want to put them all the way down there. Got a Matt Hardy in the box, Triple H Basic in the box. Got a Miz in the box. We got a Triple H in the box on the top. We got some loose figures. We got the Lucha Bros, Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix. There's supreme figures on the top of all the glory and we have the two supreme kenny omegas looking amazing we got a signed kofi kingston from elite series four i uh, got a slim jim box a bunch of random some in box some out of box figure boxes over here we have the elite 50 chase shane mcmahon
man. For my boy on Instagram, obviously, Attitude Figs. Check them out. More loose boxes. We got that Kane box, which I thought was sick. We got two Chase AW figures, Cody Rhodes and Brody Lee. Looking amazing. More in uh, out of box, I should say. Just boxes here. We've got a classic WWE carrying case. More inbox figures down here. All these figures are inbox. Like there's Bray Wyatt. There is a Xavier Woods. Here's Charlotte. Who's this? Keith Lee Chase. Uh, you got a Ronda Rousey. There's an Undertaker ringside exclusive. That is empty. Here's the Seen Enough 2K18 thing. A bunch of Ultimate Edition boxes. Another thing from GameStop. Because I used I used to know the manager that worked at this GameStop. So he would hook me up with all the WWE display things, including this Seth Rollins. But then he stopped working there. I'm like, darn it, I'm not going to be able to get the displays anymore. But they look awesome. I'm glad I was able to add those to my collection. The 1 of 5,000 John Mox is looking cool. We have some displays from Target, which look cool. Love these a lot. The Elite 100 one goes hard, bro. And yes, there are figures in all of them, uh, which look fantastic once again there's that cane box i love that cane box bro it looks so sick the art on that like how can you throw that away and i kind of already mentioned it but here's the seth rollins standy at the end here with a stardust mask and a big john cena code live poster that my little brother made dink the bins themselves aew this is my aew bin right here not every AEW figure ever made but there's some really good ones in there my favorite ones are on the top we have some AEW world champions former champions current champion uh ricky starks chris jericho it's an awesome chris cody rhodes i left the aw cody rhodes is in here because i mean they're still AEW. you know what i'm saying the ftw champion hook we got wardlow matt hardy it's just a bunch of cool figures i got all the women figures up front here which look pretty cool got a remote for my lighting which is pretty cool because you could change the different type of light that it shows. I like using white. I think it looks the best. Next bin, you already know. We got a classic Legends bin right here with some freaking wicked figures in there. This is sort of like Attitude Era uh, slash Ruthless Aggression bin, which is pretty cool. But yeah, mainly Attitude Era in here. Dude, this new Stone Cold. This figure goes so hard. That's an awesome figure. Uh, here's a just Legends bin. This is like 80s, 90s in here. Uh, this is a really cool Man, absolutely loaded to the brim with legend elites back here we have a big accessories bin uh and then we have some mock figures right there the bell to bell figures from ringside collectibles that i still have to review we have uh but yeah once again this is just a bunch of big accessories in there a couple caskets a couple inflatable tube guys here is the women's bin this bin just like the legends bin is filled to the brim with women's figures we have sort of some outdated like outdated figures over there and then more current women over here, which is pretty cool. These bins over here are sort of just, uh, just random elite figures that aren't really current, uh, but just still super duper awesome. So we got them in these bins over here. Uh, here's some more. You see Triple H up in the corner there. Really cool red pants Bobby Lashley. That's a great figure. We have another Legends bin over here. This is uh, more 80s, 90s Legends in here, which look dope. The one that stands out to me is that gold dust. I left the robe on him. I don't normally do that, but this robe is just, woo, man. Great figure, great figure. Below this, we do have the SmackDown and Raw main event ring, as well as the as well as the New Generation Arena ring, and yes, there's another bin right here. Let's see what's in here. I believe, yeah, it's just AEW accessories. So we got some uh, Supreme accessories down here. Uh, like Supreme figures, like interchangeable hands, heads, Supreme uh, display stands, or not Supreme, a just AEW display stands in general. This bin, I have, I'm not going to lie, I haven't opened this in a while. Uh, we have uh, authentic scale ring, accessories, display stands, we have just extra barricade parts. Yeah, I haven't opened that in a long time. And I don't, I don't believe there's anything in the bottom one. Oh, no, I lied, there is. There are some rubber accessories down here for AEW figures. Pretty cool, not bad at all. Back to the bins on top of the table we have a ruthless aggression bin right here this is a great bin one of my favorite bins up here looks great we have more just random elites slash basics you can see a basic Kurt angle in there but yeah just random elites in here uh no particular uh organization to these but yeah just more elites and then over here this is my retired bin most of these figures uh either the superstar 
is no longer with WWE or the figure is just that outdated to where I just don't need it in like my main leap in or close to my arena where it's in arm's reach like that Kevin Owens, like this Dean Ambrose. We got new Street Profits recently, so I sort of retired them. But I'll never sell. I'll never sell any of my old elite figures. Uh, they'll just be retired in this bin. And I still, like, I literally took AOP out of this bin recently and put them back in my main elite bin. Figures can come out of this bin depending on if they return to WWE or if they bring back a similar attire that looks similar to an old figure. But yeah, all these bins are on like little tables, which I think is really, really cool. There is a Lego bag over there. I just have some Legos in there. Uh, nothing too crazy. And then there's a fan during the summertime when it gets hot, but it's winter right now. So we don't need that fan. Uh, tripod right here for videos when I don't have a cameraman. That has been the 2024 Bread Alive WWE action figure room tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think I should add. I want to add more shelves over there on that wall. I think it would look so sick. There are so many figures on that shelf. Uh, let me know your favorite shelf that I showed. Let me know your favorite bin that I showed. Let me know what you guys think of the room. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash a like, and I love you all. This is Brett Alive, signing out.